Hi, I'm Brian, and this is my game, Stereo. I'm going to make a little video here to teach you how to use the creative mode to edit and design levels, which I think is a lot of fun. So, I did the game here, and in order to do this, you'll need the keys to the, of the kingdom. And every player starts with it automatically, but that'll change in the future versions. So, I'm thinking of giving away the keys as a... Uh, as a a bonus for beating the game, so then you'll be able to unlock everything. That's a terrible sound. Um, sorry. <laughs> then uh, we have, uh, so once you have that, so you can press till to be able to zoom around and go through walls. Kind of turns on dog mode so you can't get hit and damaged and everything by these guys. And so tilt's great to use when you're in creative mode. And then you hit F9 to turn off the lighting, which is really nice. And if you want, you can hit F8 to toggle the foreground as well, so you can see what's on the background layer when you're editing that. And then F1 actually pulls up the first creative mode, and this is for editing materials. And so you have all your brushes down here. Um, just these are the same brushes you use if you were not uh, not in creative mode. To, this is the normal way to edit the world, but uh, when you're in creative mode, you don't have a range limit. So in, in normal mode, you're limited to a fairly, it's a pretty generous range. But when you're in creative mode, you can draw all over the screen and so forth. And so you can pick your brush and right click erases, left click draws, so you can draw it all you want there. And you can hold shift, let's head upstairs here. You can hold shift to draw the wall layer behind you. Let's see, you can, it's just kind of like a paint program. Works really well, I think. And shift uh, right click to erase. And so we have a variety of materials here. Um, there's gases um, at the front part here. And then there's liquids. Fire is considered a liquid just because that's the way the physics act for it. The, then there's loose materials like snow and sand. And there's, then there's the dirt materials. That, so here's the eight basic materials of stone that you have to dig through, one for each tier, going all the way down to basalt. Then here's all the ores, and then you have the precious uh, stones, you have obsidian and so forth, uh, a couple other ice melts on its own, it's kind of cool looking, and spikes and so forth. Uh, we have 16 different colors of blocks, of bricks, so that you can do all your pixel art there. There's some cool looking bone here and that looks really nice with the lighting and so forth. Uh, wood, metal, plastic, we have piping, which is kind of cool here. You can do pipes that go around. And uh, wires are similar, they look really good on the background. And we have glass, and uh, finally grass, which is, you know, just dirt. So that's the creative mode there for, for editing materials. And then, cool thing is we have copy and paste, so if there's something you like, like uh, you know, this thing here, you can hit C and select the area, and then push V to paste it. And there's not a very good preview yet of, of the pasting, but it's there, uh, and I'm going to work on that. So to select, you can also copy and paste backgrounds, so if you like that pillar, it took a lot of work on the background. Um, you just hold Shift V to paste it onto the background, like so. So you can kind of see how easy that is. All right, and I think that's it for you know basic drawing. Oh, there's there's also a big brush here. This is a mega brush. It uh, so it's used really nice for doing for just doing the broad strokes of a level. You can kind of. So it clears the screen really quickly, like that way. Uh, but that one's that one's only available in creative mode, which doesn't make sense when you have the limited range. 
and so that's really nice to have. So now you're here in placeables. Uh, so if you had, you could place F2 to get into placeable mode, F3 for enemies, and F4 for pickups, which go into your inventory. Um, and so in placeables, we have the proverbial torch. We have these light orbs, which are kind of floating torches. There's no graphics yet for them, but they cast light. The, these red blocks um, are your bounding boxes. So that's kind of nice. You can see where the physics actually interact with the game when you're in these creative modes. Then there's a hidden light. We use those kind of down here um, to simulate light coming in a window or so forth or something like that. Um, and they're actually not shown in the user when they're not in creative mode. Then there's material sources, um, and this is kind of cool. You can play, make waterfalls and stuff, and it'll make a nice waterfall effect. And then if you have, say, some dirt going around here like this, you can make a pond, and that'll eventually fill up, so you can put material sinks as well, right here, to consume the water and this will actually just kind of spawn air and so that it won't fill up like that and so you can make nice waterfall effects like that and so forth. So it's pretty cool. And top up here. So now we have chests. So there's the traditional chest um, and then there's a world chest. The world chest works a little bit differently in that everybody gets a copy of, of the contents of it. So with a normal chest, you just you can edit it and drag your items to it and so forth. But with this one, you can't do well. I guess you can do that. Um, you shouldn't be able to. There is a slash add command, so you can add, like, say you wanted torches. Um, you could hit enter and then you, uh, do slash add and the amount of numbers that you want there. And let's see. I'm currently the owner of it, so I have to dis on that. Uh, yeah. Um, and so now and I can, you can uh, when you're not the owner instead of opening it in the inventory editor you'll actually grab the inventory and you see here it says you've already taken the contents of it so I can't take it anymore if you want to clear that for your testing you can do slash clear flags and that'll wipe out all your marks for um, it will wipe out. See, when, when you open this, it, it, it marks it in your save game on, on your player so that you don't get that same chest twice. But uh, you can do clear flags to re clear all those off of your account. Um, some interesting slash commands while we're here. Uh, slash help to get all of those. Uh, most of those are for map editing. Uh, most of them are available for uh, only when you have the, the, the keys to the kingdom. Let's see, there is a slash stuck command, which will make you respawn back at your spawn point. There is slash maps that will list the maps that are in the world, so you can hop over the overworld. Or, let's see, a dungeon here. Go to dungeon one. Uh, this looks kind of our first dungeon here. So what's interesting about this map is it actually has uh, mining turned off, so none of the mining weapons work in here. So it's actually uh, a real challenge. You can't just dig your way through it. So that's configurable. Um, let's go back to the start here. Um, and then there's another really cool command, slash kit. So the kit command will set your gear to a specific tier. So you can do kit 1 to give you tier 1 gear. Um, or all the way up to tier 9 uh, to get really buff. So the uh, so you can use that for testing your, your, your dungeons because each dungeon has its own set tier slash maps here. It'll show you the tier level and the, all the enemies automatically scale to their tier based on that um, except for the overworld. The overworld each layer of material that you dig down through will uh, go up a level as well, so the monsters get more difficult as you dig deeper and deeper, which I think is really neat. Um, it scales that automatically for you. 
So that's some of the slash commands. Um, but back to the creative mode, uh, let's see, we have a personal chest, which is, you know, it's, it's locked by its owner, so the person that puts it down will own that. And we have the crafting stations, the trees, um, here's a sign. So the sign editor, um, you know, has the traditional multi-line editor here that I wrote. It's kind of a fun project to work on. Oops. Yeah, you got to be careful with your weapons. This is <laughs> this is uh, not your mom's pickaxe here. <laughs> so yeah, sorry. Uh, that's a lot of fun. But uh, so there's also a slash set command, and that you can set the actual world the value of the sign via the command line here. Um, so I can say hello world here. And like that, it'll actually set it. And that's important when you're dropping portals. So, so the portal, you actually set the map name that way. So you say set uh, overworld and it will take you there. Whoops, unless you delete it by hitting right click. Let's do slash set, um, set overworld. Um, then right click to activate and it'll take you back there. Just like that. Now it took me back to the original portal because it's the oldest. That's so the way that it's coded. So um, also, real quick, uh, we also have dynamite to drop down, some of that good stuff. And uh, it won't blow up the brick, but it'll blow up lesser materials. So enemies we have here. So in the game, you can actually control your spawn points. So if you just click normally, or if you just do left clicks, it will create these spawn points, and then when you're off screen, those guys will spawn. So it's just like kind of an old style. You can right click on these to delete instances or spawns. Um, it's kind of like an old Mega Man feel game where these, you know, they instantly respawn off screen, which is which is great fun all the time. So, and for enemies, you can hold shift down to actually spawn an instance in case you don't want to create a spawn point. So, and uh, in the overworld, there's uh, randomly generated spawns in addition um, to the set spawn points, and so you have complete control of that, which I think is really nice. Um, so to, there's our crawlers there, then there's a kind of a flyer, which are kind of bat-like creatures, kind of have a little, pretty tough to fight. There's turrets, um, I shoot sniper shots, which are pretty tough, I need to work on the graphics for them, obviously. Uh, there's floating turrets here, which is kind of same as turrets, but they just float in the air. Uh, an exploder, these are kind of like uh, Minecraft creepers. Explode after a second or two there. Um, floaters, uh, these kinds are pretty much indestructible. And so, well, unless you're tier 9. Do, do, do. They won't take any damage. It runs away from me, jeez. So they won't take any damage and they'll just do, they don't shoot at you, but they just kind of pace back and forth and become a an obstacle for damaging people here, so you can design your level around those. Um, then there's the Brunins. These guys are kind of like mini bosses. They're pretty tough. They have uh, a lot of health, and uh, they're pretty tough to fight. So, of a more challenging kind of guy, if you want to put him in somewhere in your bot and anything. And here's a couple of our bosses. Uh, here's Chronix. He shoots. Well, he doesn't shoot that way. I do. He does a lot of damage. He shoots guided missiles and throws out crawlers occasionally. So I don't know if he's going to throw them or not. Hmm. Oh, this is an old build. I upped the, the rate here. So, um, yeah. And then there's. Uh, this guy here, which is kind of like a Space Invaders boss, so if you're up here, really tear up the material between you, which is kind of cool, and he drops exploders as well, which is nice. So kind of some fun bosses there, I got a lot more enemies in the works. So, And then the last mode here is uh, items, so you can drop inventory, I'm not sure if I already mentioned that. So.
yeah. Um, so that's the creative mode. And let me show you how to create a map real quick. Uh, so there's a map create command. We'll just call it test, and it's a thousand wide and a thousand high. And let's fill it with dirt. Um, so there we just create a new zone. It's uh, here on maps. And uh, you can kind of delete an area there, make it your first room to it. it starts you in the middle of it. You do slash map spawn to set your spawn point. So if I do slash stuff here, it'll spawn me right there. And so then you can kind of flesh out, you know, the broad strokes. Like say, I'll make a C-shaped map, and then maybe have some like a boss down here, so you can do that pretty easily. Um, and so it's kind of fun to just work with that. And you'll shift to pull out the cave, nice cave background all that good stuff. Uh, let's see what else do we have. So there's a couple others. You sl slash map tier to set the tier level. So if you want like this to be a tier three zone you could do that. There's slash map lock which will toggle uh, the terrain destruction and when you do that uh, when you turn off the glass the the mining tools it also turns off the ability for uh, for players to place material, so they can't see. So then you, they can't build a bridge over your beautifully designed jumping puzzle either. So um, finally, there's a slash map save, and this will save out an actual map file, uh, which is outside of the main save game. So you can uh, upload that map or do whatever you want with it. And then on multiplayer, there is. I'm not. I'm a single player. Uh, mode here, but on multiplayer there's a map download which will actually do a file transfer to download the game, download your current map um, to your hard drive. So I actually built file transfer into the game so that you can transfer it over. And so uh, another cool command which I can't show you is slash summon, uh, which will actually summon all the players there to you. Um, and uh, that's kind of fun because, like, when you're on a multiplayer server, you can actually kind of play uh, like a DM mode here. You know, you can pull players to you and drop monsters on them. It's great fun. So, anyways, that's the creative mode, and I uh, hope you like it. And uh, I, I, I think it's awesome. And you know, there's no game that uh, there's I've never seen this kind of uh, a mode in a game before. So, uh, I'm real excited to to see what people make with it. So and uh, check it out. Thanks. Bye.